My name is Steve Claussen. I'm here with Wilmer Fabrication or Red Ball Spray Hoods uh, here at the 2022 Maggie Show. Uh, today we're showcasing our broadcast spray hoods for drift control and basically all the different machines that they can be mounted on. Today uh, we're coming out with a new trailer sprayer just for, you know, for farmers or applicators as a dedicated machine where they want to use that uh, for smaller acreages, etc., etc. And the hoods basically can be mounted on a boom like you see it here today, which is a 90 foot, 60-90 um, combination. It can go out to 100. It can be retrofitted on all self-propelled. Uh, it can be here just on a trailer sprayer, three-point sprayer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then also uh, we're looking at the technology of the hood. We want to make the hood available to all OEMs. Uh, all distribution, all ag retailers, because we've been working on hoods for about 35 years, both row crop, broadcast, and in our university studies, we're controlling about 95% of the drift. Uh, we get um, very good coverage, which leads to better performance, which leads to less resistance down the road, etc. And so, when you get into areas where uh, drift is concerned with many different chemistries, um, all chemistries actually, and uh, looking at um, endangered species uh, to uh, habitat and road ditches and such, the, the hood will contain the spray and basically give you better coverage, better performance. And ultimately, uh, last year we um, got buffer reduction and we're working on trying to get to change labels to where we can spray at higher winds. That's the ultimate goal. Um, so if you, as an applicator, if today you're limited to 10 miles an hour, if you could spray at 15, what would that mean to you in your operation relative to number of sprayers, productivity, etc.? And so in our studies, um, we've done some trials of our own. We feel comfortable that if labels could be adjusted, we always want to follow labels and such, but we, would, we feel that they should head towards the 15 miles per hour. And with that, you're going to pick up acres, be able, be able to spray more days. Um, we've done weather studies for five years. And there's not too many days in the month of June that uh, you can get into that window under 10 mile an hour, etc., where if you had hoods, you could uh, get more acres sprayed uh, at the end of the day. So again, it's, uh, the spray hood is, is mechanical. We've been working on it for 35 years. And it, the key is for performance and drift control and be able to cover the acres in the, in the correct timing. And uh, there too, it's a kit that is 20 and 15 inch spacings. And basically, uh, we're going to make them available to all OEMs, distribution. We'll have our own complete sprayers like a trailer sprayer here, uh, as well as booms. We'll also, the boom you see on this trailer, we're going to offer that to the market as a complete boom um, where you can order it and be retrofit on any self-propelled. So um, that's our key. Our, our main goal is to try to get a, a hood at each applicator location for those hard to spray spots, uh, windier days, um, just where it's needed. So we can add uh, another tool in our toolbox to uh, get their job, job done in the correct amount of time. And, and, and correct day. I want to thank uh, Maggie for letting us come here, be here today, and uh, look forward to next year. And, uh, and I hope that uh, uh, we can talk to more and more uh, ag retailers here at the at show today and tomorrow.